This is the season to adorn everywhere with lights, but be warned, not your motor vehicles. There is an issue right now where even blue lights and red lights are being used on private motor vehicles, and that is unlawful. Um, this is something that is properly addressed in the Gazette in terms of, for example, a blue light that should be used by only police officers, um, or police vehicles, that is. So what we find is that a number of persons are actually using the blue flashing lights on private vehicles. That should not be the case, and we are going to be very serious about it. We are going to be working with certifying examiners to remove these apparatus and to prosecute persons, and we are going to seize them as well. Where the police see it being done, then they are also going to prosecute and, go, and the police is going to order that they be removed. SSP Gary McKenzie from the Public Safety and the Traffic Enforcement Branch PSTEB pointed to the unintended consequences that could create confusion, if not worse. If all and sundry is going to use blue lights or red lights that are supposed to be used by ambulances, then when do people know exactly who is using what? So even from that perspective, without the law coming in, a, a commonsensical approach to it would, would, would have us adhere to that. But, so we are warning about that. And um, even the indicators, the law is quite clear. The Road Traffic Act in particular, section 40 to 42, outlines even headlights supposed to be in white, that indicators ought to be amber, the reverse light should be white, and so on. Um, those things are very important because when lights are used on motor vehicles by a driver, it's you are actually speaking to the other motorists and other road users. Gabriel Thompson, Frontline News.